the previous lectures we have been talking about how to install MySQL server. We have been talking about the fundamental basics of databases, database languages such as SQL or database management systems such as MySQL. So these are the topics we have already considered in the previous chapter and in this chapter we are going to focus on the programming language itself. So first of all, in MySQL Workbench, I have already created a MySQL connection, as you can see, with name Udemy Test. But of course, you can create as many connections as you want. For example, I can use another connection, for example, Test, and it is going to work fine. The host name, the port are going to have the default values 127.00.1. This is the local host. The port is the default value 3306. It is going to work just fine. The username is the root and you can test the connection successfully made the MySQL connection. So this is how you can create a new connection. I am not going to create it because I have already created the Udemy test connection. So if you click on that given connection, that this is where we are going to create our SQL related statements. So first of all, we can show the databases that's already present in MySQL. So if we type in show databases, and we execute the statement, then as you can see, MySQL Workbench is going to show us the available databases. These are the default databases. So I haven't created any databases so far. These are the built-in databases, information scheme, MySQL, performance scheme, and so on. What we are after is that we would like to create our own database. So this is what we have been talking about in the previous lecture, that the database is a set of persistent data used by a given application. So first of all, we have to create the database itself, and then we can create as many tables associated with the given database as we want. So this is, for example, a database table, and we are going to create tables like this. Okay, so first of all, we have to create a database with name Udemy. So if we execute the statement, then as you can see, it is going to work just fine. We have created the database with name Udemy. Okay, so if we call the show databases command and execute it, then we can check whether we have created Udemy or not. And as you can see, Udemy as a database have been created. So what do we have to do? First of all, we have to use a given database because otherwise MySQL is not going to know whether we are dealing with information scheme database, the MySQL database, the system database, or Udemy database. So we have to use the use keyword. So use the database Udemy. Okay, so as you can see, after executing the statement, it is working fine. Now we are dealing with the Udemy related database. So what do we have to do? We can create as many tables associated with the Udemy database as we want. And this is exactly what we are going to talk about in the next lecture.